So, the first thing I'm going to be using is a Turnergy Plush 60 amp ESC, which the heat shrink's taken off because I flashed a uh, BL Heli on this, uh, which took a bit of doing, but I got it done in the end. It's just three wires basically, you hook them up to an Arduino Nano, and plug your power in, blah. Job's good, and I only wish it was that f simple. So it was a nightmare to get that done. Anyway, so that's that. Sunny Sky X2820, uh, 800kV. Fingers crossed. We have the Eagle Tree Vector, as everybody's seen. Um, we have the Vector Alerter, which I'm going to be putting on as well. An A4 sheet of plywood for mounting things, shelves, this, that and the other, whatever. I think this is a 132, something like that, which is slightly bowed, but it don't matter. And I'm going to be using heavyweight um, servo wire. I think this is actually 22, 24 AWG wire. It's not standard. It's nowhere near, no, it's a lot thicker than that. It's a lot heavy duty. It doesn't bend as well, but we've also got quite a few um, nylon uh, pinned hinges for all the uh, the control surfaces. Got the pitot tube and airspeed sensor. I've also got a holder for it this time. It slides in there. Well, where else would it go? Up my arse. The flight camera is going to be a Fat Shark 700 TVL. I've got a good deal on these actually. I ordered the 600 TVL and because it's the ones that I know. And the bloke said, I haven't got them in stock. I'll send you the 700 TVL at the same price. So I didn't really pay a lot for them. Oh yeah, I bought two, luckily. <laughs> so yeah, they were, they were cheap. Immersion RC Sander Whip style what's it antennas. Immersion RC is a UF, UHF receiver, and I've also got the JR module in my uh, Tyrannis. A big box of many different gauge wires from what was it now? 14 AWG to 24 AWG, I think it is. So I've got plenty of wires. This lot was only about 15 quid, so you know it's not. It's not mega expensive. I'm also going to be trying this. Uh, this is actually a 1.3 gig 2 watt, um, 1.2, 1.3 gig 2 watt transmitter. So I'm going to be taking that out of the casing, or I might just leave it in. Don't know yet. Three way camera switcher, two meters of Velcro. I really don't know what, I think I'm going to put this in the bottom of the, the fuselage. Um, it's either that or take myself up with it and try and stick myself to the wall. I, I don't know yet. And you're not going to be able to see this, but this is actually a belly pan for the fuselage, just to protect it. It, it actually covers the, old, the, the bottom half of the fuselage, but I don't know how I'm going to attach it yet. I've also got some uh, yacht varnish because I've got this uh, fiberglass that I've had for a long, long time. I mean, years now. It's four ounce um, fiberglass. Um, I'm going to cover the wings. This is an old AXN wing, um, and I've coated this. I've coated. This bit here is actually with the fiberglass. That bit's just with the, with some yacht varnish just to try it. And it took three days to set, but it's bloody solid. It's absolutely. <laughs> so now this this bit here on the end that hasn't been coated at all. So it's, it's, it's very flexible. This bit's just had yacht varnish top and bottom just to see what happens. 
and it's flexible. Not, not much, but you know, it's flexible. Now this bit doesn't bend oh, very, very, very slightly. That has made it so strong, it's unreal. So I'm going to do the whole wings with it. I've got some different yacht varnish coming. Um, that's a gloss. It was just, it was only about three quid, I think it was, for that big tub. So I've got some black stuff coming because I want to do it matte black. So I'm going to build my own pan and tilt mech uh, for a GoPro. So I've got some GWS. They're one and a half turn um, servos. And last, but definitely not least, I probably missed the load off. I really don't know. Don't care actually. Um, so I've got high tech HS65 MG for the tail um, for the elevator. I've got two just in case. I don't know whether to use two to have one as a redundancy. Because obviously with the, with the elevator, if you have a, if you have a servo fail, um, you're buggered. Uh, with, with the ailerons, if you have one fail, you 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 know you're okay. So I don't know whether to use one of these as a redundancy. I don't know yet. And high tech HS85 MG for the um, ailerons. It's only basically three wires. Um. Oh. F so. The first thing I'm going to be using is a Turnergy. Oh, for f sake! I'm going to be using a Sunny Sky X28. I don't f believe this. <laughs> God, I can't get. I'll be serious, Tony.